I've been lacking on my joke writing quite a bit recently because I have a clothing brand and I've been really pushing content out. So in this series, us together, we're gonna be writing some jokes and then taking them to the open mics to see how they do. Now obviously everything isn't gonna land, it's gonna, all gonna be garbage at first, but it's gonna be cool because you try this joke multiple times at different open mics and it slowly evolves and transforms into something you're proud of for about two weeks and then you hate it with all your guts. It's very cool how stand-up works. Since I spent 12 minutes thinking about a topic, I'm just gonna take it all away and I'm just gonna use a random word generator. Winner, winner is the word, winner. Oh, have I won anything recently? Well, my first thought when I hear winner, I think about those participation trophies they've been given out a lot. So we could, we could really just take a whole thing about it. Uh, winning at life, winning at life. What does that entail? What does that even mean to win at life? Maybe you are able to buy a house. Maybe you have a hot wife. My weird way of winning at life is being able to sit in a Target parking lot for 30 minutes on a Tuesday at 12. That kind of breaks expectations, but it's not funny at all. What do I consider winning at life? I think that the only way to truly win at life is when you are able to, when you're able to do the things that you love for a living and not have to, not have an actual job that you hate in order to live. Who is winning at life then? Porn stars, because everybody loves fucking all the time, so porn stars are winning at life. What if the thing that you love doing is stupid? What's a goofy way of winning at life? A goofy way of winning at life is being a toilet tester. Everybody enjoys pooping. Oh, if you just really love pissing people off on the internet, you know who is winning? gay Republicans, because they just tend to piss everybody off for no reason. It's so hilarious. Winning at life, buying a house, hot wife. Actually, what do you think winning at life is? Is it buying a house, having a hot wife, driving the fastest car, or is it doing the things you love all the time? Because in that instance, if you love fucking porn stars or winning at life, Toilet testers, if they love pooping, they're winning at life. Now, if you love pissing people off, just become a gay Republican. This, all of this is dog shit right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna get somewhere with this. Doing, doing could be also a double entendre there because it could also refer to having sex with something. So winning at life entails doing things you love all the time. So what if I love doing hot sauce? What if I just love that burn on my dick? <laughs> that's pretty, I think that's funny. It probably won't land at all at the open mic, but I'll, it's worth a shot. We have recorded for thir almost 40 minutes and I haven't, I've, I haven't come up with shit. We have nothing in here, nothing that's good or worthwhile. That's how it usually is, everything. The good stuff comes to you while you're doing stuff. You can't really force it out of you, but you can write around the good stuff that comes to you. So hopefully it's only been about five minutes into the actual video, but we're gonna pivot now and we're gonna go towards some of my old stuff that has legs and needs to be worked on. Does anybody else play this silly little game where you try and time finishing your pee with flushing the toilet and make them both go down perfectly at the same time. You never get it right. You know how much water you've wasted? What do you think is gonna happen when you get it right? Your dad's gonna call you and be like, I'm proud. So why do we do that? Why is there something about dudes' brains that make us want to do satisfying stuff like that where you, you know, it's the same impulse you get to throw a paper ball into a trash can. Flushing timing. Am I the only dude who waits until the last second? No, that's a different joke. Does anybody else play the silly little game where they try and time flushing the toilet with finishing their pee? And like, you know how much water you've wasted? You never actually get it right. What do you think is gonna happen when you get it right? Your dad's gonna call you and be like, I'm proud even though it's been 30 years. Then you realize that everything in life is about timing. Timing the toilet flushing perfectly, timing that exact second before your girlfriend's about to nut, to nut right before that, and stop. 
<laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. I like that. Everything's about timing, being on time. This has legs now. Okay, but then I realized that a lot of this stuff is about timing, like being on time. I've always heard if you're not five minutes early, you're late. That's why I keep timing my nut. <laughs> That's why I keep timing. That's why I keep nutting before, uh, <laughs> right before my girlfriend can come. <laughs> she always gets upset after I, I do that. That's why I've decided to embrace my Mexican side and start being late to everything. <laughs> That's why I'm always coming late now. <laughs> she always, there's no, there's no getting around it because you're either coming too early or you're coming too late because what? <laughs> Now she's all upset about it. She's super upset about it. So I started coming late to all of our family gatherings. Now she's even more upset. So my camera just died and I finished writing the joke, but we'll go to the open mic and we'll try it out right now. Let's go do that. What is considered winning at life? Is it buying a house? Driving a fancy car? I think it's actually doing what you love. And I love doing hot sauce. The burn, I don't like it that much, but ain't nobody gonna stop me. Okay, that was a dick and hot sauce joke. I don't know why <laughs> I thought of that at all. <laughs> it was very bad. Thank you for sitting through that. Uh, let me see here. Does anybody like to play that little silly game where you try and time flushing with peeing and like the pee finishing and the flushing going down at the same time and it's perfect? It's a silly little game, but what, like, what do you think is gonna happen when you get it right? What do you think is gonna happen? Your dad's gonna call you and be like, I'm proud? It's not gonna happen. I realized that living here in the US, I've realized that timing is everything here. I've, I always heard if you're not five minutes early, you're late. So I keep coming five minutes early, or than my girl does. She's very upset every single time, which I'm confused because this is America, you right? So then she was like, well, try coming later. So then I showed up 30 minutes late to her mom's birthday party and she was pissed off about that. <laughs> it doesn't make sense yet, but it will make sense eventually, I promise. As you can tell, that didn't go that well, but we'll be back on I don't know, Thursday or something like that to try it again. That's just how it goes. Sometimes it doesn't go that well.